one who began everything, who created everything. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That God who is looking down upon us now has been providentially guiding your lives together to bring you to this moment for His glory and for your blessing. Father God, we're here in your blessed presence in the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ himself to bear witness, Heavenly Father, to your work in bringing this man together into the life of this woman. Heavenly Father, your ways are so rich and so good and your blessings are so pure and so true and your blessings, Father, are so perfect for every single one of us who will follow you and trust you. And we are seeing that in living color today, Father, in what you have done in bringing this man together with this woman. Father God, we say we are excited to see the chapters that you will write in their story as you bring these two stories together, Father God to write incredible songs and lyrics and stories in their lives, Father God, that only you can write. And so Father, we say thank you a thousand times over. Thank you for Christian. Thank you for Maris. And thank you for what you're doing in bringing them together to get today. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. For that man, that woman, that marriage will be like a tree planted by the water that extends its roots by a stream. Listen to this. The tree does not fear when the heat comes. When the heat comes. And the reality of life and the reality of marriage, you're going to face some heat. It's unavoidable. It's just a matter of who's on your side or whose side you're on when you go through that heat. Are you going to trust God? in those seasons, or are you going to try and do it on your own? Scripture says the man who trusts in the Lord will be blessed, extends its root by a stream, and does not fear when the heat comes, but its leaves will be green, and it will not be anxious in a year of drought, nor cease to yield fruit. As I was thinking about who each of you are and praying for your marriage, I just come kept coming back to the love verses in 1 Corinthians 13 that Meredith read at the ceremony. The first two attributes of love in these verses are patience and kindness. And I know that each of you are full of patience and kindness, but I can clearly see patience and Cappy in regards to y'all's relationship. You are gentle and wait to speak until you know you have words that will show love. And you wait to act until you know your actions will align with God's will. with this ring, I do what and pledge my life and love to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With this ring, I be wed and pledge my life and love to you in the name of the Father, the Son, Spirit. and the Holy Spirit. Now the authority vested in me by God himself in the wonderful great state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss you love. Ha <laughs> <laughs>